Now we're going to switch to talk about custom fields. Custom fields are fields and columns, depending on the window type, uh, that can be added to pages and reports without programming. They could be completely new fields, or they could simply be a field being visible that is a reference to an already existing field somewhere else in the application. In addition, we have the opportunity to define a hyperlink field and this is uh, a custom field in this example that I've placed on the customer master that is a URL to take me to this customer's website. Further, we also can add what are called custom enumerations. An enumeration is a drop-down or combo box. These are used throughout app, IFS applications. You can even define your own. So it's a fixed drop-down list of values, and you can store it as a custom attribute on pretty much any form. So drilling down into a little more detail on custom fields. When I define a custom field, it's done from a screen like this. In this case, I'm accessing the existing logical unit called purchase order. And I have at the bottom a number of attributes or custom fields that I have added to be available on the purchase order screen. For example, you can see that the PO priority is one. I have another one where maybe I want to present the site name or some information about the supplier's address. 